Okay, hey, what's up everybody? It's Joshua Casper. Welcome to another video tutorial. Um, first things first, follow me on Twitter. Subscribe, rate, comment, you know the drill. Anyway, today's um, tutorial is going to be on drum racks and all their glory. Um, very cool, very cool stuff. Um, very useful information I'm about to teach you, show you. Anyway, um, first things first, I've got this drum loop right here. simple little loop and I'm going to show you how to chop this up send it to a, a drum rack and then show you some things so first thing you want to do is go through and place warp markers by double clicking you can double click and drag or whatever and um, just double click on you know you can even see visually or you can listen um, just where there there are certain sounds that you want to you want to sample I guess cut these up like this Boom. So that's pretty much good. You can listen, see um, see how close they are. So cool. Um, next thing you want to do is you can right click here, slice to new MIDI track, um, or you can right click on the sample, slice to new MIDI track. So hit that. Warp markers, you can either do by um, the quarter notes, half notes, eighth notes, blah, blah, blah by a bar or by the warp markers. We're going to use the warp markers and um, go ahead and you can choose any one of these you want. It'll just um, some some slicing preset effects and stuff. Um, you can do chord and stutter which is a pretty cool one and hit OK. And boom! It What it's done here is cut up the, um, the loop for us. You can go ahead and delete this first audio channel and now we'll go ahead and play this. This is a new MIDI channel that's um, cut that sample up where we placed more markers into samples. And if you go ahead and open everything up, you can see here that um, let me drag it over a little bit. Each part it shows you if you click on it and shows you where you're sampling. So, um, and then if you click in on here, this is the piano roll, and this is what it looks like. This is where you placed your warp markers, and then there's you know, these MIDI clips, and those are just responding to the parts of the clip. So, um, you can go ahead and play it, and it will just play like a, a normal loop. Those are just some cool. Um, effects that are presets and that will um, that will affect the entire loop everything that's playing pretty cool stuff um, I'm gonna look in how to making a preset like this and um, I'm gonna you know do a tutorial on it in the future but anyway moving on so there you go that's really cool and of course um, you can go into this and you can switch around where things are playing you know you can Maybe drop this twice here. So that sounds pretty cool. And you can obviously move everything around. This doesn't have to be here. It can be up here. So um, that's pretty cool. Um, and next thing we want to do is come down here, click here. And I'm going to show you how to, to do some sends and returns on these. Um, there's a bunch of tutorials out there on it, but I just wanted to show you real quick if you haven't seen them. Um, hit all three of these. I like to have those open. Hit the I.O., which brings up this. Oh, and this is another cool thing real quick. Right now, if you hit C1 on your keyboard, the first slice will play. Slice 1, which is a kick. Uh, play it. Um, if you change this which is um, this hi-hat. If you change this right here to C1, um, these will combine these. So every time C1 is played, both of these samples will play at the same time. So if you come in here, get rid of these real quick. This, you can't really hear it right here. I'll actually change slice three so you can hear that to C1. And now all three of these will play at the same time every time C1 MIDI note is triggered. So um, 
um, I'm not sure if you can hear that, but um, you just have to, that's a good tool for um, doubling up your snares or tripling up your snares or your kicks and getting your own kind of cool sound going on, um, you know, with your drums and stuff like that. That's just a quick thing to do. Change these back real quick. So now again, they're all going to play on their respective nitty, uh, MIDI clips. So I actually liked what we had right here. So anyway, um, hit the R down here, which will bring up this drop audio effects here. Come up here, grab your, and just grab, um, just to save time, just any one of these um, presets. We'll go high verb. Drop that right here. Come over here. Crank that dry wet up to 100. Delete this. Um, another cool thing too, I didn't know about for the longest time. I didn't even notice is if you click this right here, it'll expand, and this is your drum rack. These are all the things you got going on, which is really cool because it's a lot easier to adjust your levels and stuff. But um, if you notice now. You've got the sends A right here, which is lowercase a is the reverb. So right here we see the lowercase a, and say we want to affect um, this this sound right here with the reverb and only that sound. Crank that up real high just to get the you hear it. Um, the cool thing about this is like if you've noticed, reverb takes up a lot of CPU, um, and you don't want Sorry, a helicopter went by. Um, what I was saying was, if you want to um, affect all 10 of these slices with the same type of reverb, you don't want to drop 10 reverbs on just your drum rack, because Lord knows you're going to have a lot of other things that need reverb, probably. Anyway, um, this way you drop one reverb on here, and now you can affect all of these, you know, with the same reverb, without taking up a ton of... That's just a little bit. That's got a lot. Um, zero is as high as you can go, but there you go. That's um, and if you go ahead and drag on a different thing, like we'll go groove or six six six, simple delay. Drag it on here. It's gonna give it a lowercase b, and it's gonna automatically put another send down here, and it's corresponding. So b is b. So if you uh, crank this up and then preview that. So you can hear the uh, delay there. So now if you play it. And there you go. Oh, the delay is still happening. And obviously you can uh, change your parameters and stuff like that. And, um, you know, your decay time and your size. And it'll all, uh, oh, that's, that's nasty. So I mean that's just a, a general idea of what's going on right there, and of course, um, if you move this up and down, you'll see that there. I think there's 128 different pads for each drum rack. So you know this is where our section is, but you can add um, you can add simple uh, like if we come in here to one shots. You can take you know just a, a hat and drag it and add it come in here and then just you know draw some things in or you can play it on your keyboard but you can see it's right here you know and obviously you can add as much as you want but um that's just I wanted to show you those things real quick because uh, those are all very very powerful things I'm not gonna get into them a lot because I don't have time <laughs> but um, I hope that that kind of steered you in the right direction and showed you things you might not have known before and um i hope it helped you out but anyway rate subscribe comment follow me on twitter i put up all types of like ableton news music news and you know great stuff but anyway um links are in the sidebar check it out and i'll see you next week peace